Was my mama the only one? The only one that used to have that big, big can of Crisco that used to sit on the stove? Yeah, you better not throw that away. You get yourself in trouble. Yeah, that big can. Yeah, that ain't no good. <laughs> I know. You said mama. Yeah, I know. Mama didn't know. My, but listen, let's talk about it. That's no good. Don't worry about it. Let's talk about it right now. Hey, 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 what's going on, good people? What is going on? I am Rochelle T. Parks. I am your health motivator. And guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Don't Fall for the Okie Doke. That's right. Don't do it, guys. Do not fall for the Okie Doke. Listen, I have a good one for you today, okay? Topic of discussion for today is hydrogenated vegetable oil, right? You're like, what? What is that? You, you see it sometimes on the back, it says partially hydrogenated vegetable oil. So you've seen that. You may not have known what it was, but we, we're going to talk about it today. So so hydrogenated vegetable oil, basically it comes from edible um, oils extracted from plants like olives, right? Hence olive oil, right? Sunflower, sunflower oil, okay? Soybeans, okay? It's normally liquid at room temperature. And so where the hydro hydrogenation comes in is... Uh, they add, they actually add hydrogen molecules, okay, to the vegetable oil, right? It alters the texture, the stability, and the shelf life. They actually do that, like actually add hydrogen molecules, right? And so what happens is that makes it more stable. Um, it makes it resistant to oxidation. So it, be, it, it is less likely to, to spoil or become rancid. So it's easier to cook with. So you, that's why it's easy to cook with, with oils, you know, baked goods and things like that, because it's less likely to spoil. Um, it's resi resistant to oxidation, right? So here's the deal, though. Um, hydrogenation does something bad. It creates trans fats. You say, I've seen that too. Like you see on packages, like zero trans fats. Like what's the deal with trans fats? Well, trans fats are unsaturated fats and they're harmful to our health right? Like serious health concerns. Trans fats lowers our HDL. That's our good cholesterol. Trans fats lower the good cholesterol and they raise the, the LDL. That's our bad cholesterol. So they, they, they lower the good stuff and raise the bad stuff. That's what trans fats do, right? So in essence, they increase our risk for developing heart disease, type two diabetes, and also increase our risk of having a stroke. So these are bad guys. You want to avoid hydrogenated oils at all costs. You say, okay, Rochelle, I get that. But where, where can I find them? Like, where are they? Margarine. You'll see them in margarine. Nobody should be eating margarine. Like we heard, we read that years ago. Like margarine is no good. Like remember I said, this is a real body. If you're going to do butter, do butter. Don't be doing that fake stuff. Don't, don't do the fake stuff. Do butter. Put real stuff in a real body. Okay. Margarine, fried foods. That's another place microwave popcorn okay uh what about um these pre-made doughs like pizza doughs and things like that biscuits you know you'll find hydrogenated vegetable oils in those and here's two right here that i know i'm stepping on some toes right this right here took me way back crisco now you know i come on now i grew up with crisco everybody had that can that's on the stove that mama used over and over that grease over and over you better not throw out that grease that'll get you a spanking don't you throw it out prematurely okay Everybody use Crisco, but it says right here. Let me see. Um, soybean oil, fully hydrogenated palm oil, palm oil, it got all kind of stuff. Fully hydrogenated though, fully, okay? Not partially, fully hydrogenated, okay? This is no good, guys. Crisco is no good, okay? No good. Um, my coffee drinkers, come on. No, no, don't turn this off. Turn it back on. You need, you need to hear this, okay? Nestle Coffee Mate. Come through French vanilla. What does it say? Sugar, hydrogenated vegetable oil. Really? And coffee creamer? Yes. Okay, guys, don't fall for the okie doke. Avoid hydrogenated vegetable oil at all costs. Okay? What does it do? It increases, right, your risk of developing heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and increases your risk of having a stroke. That's enough. You say, okay, Richard, I'm con you've convinced me. I will no longer use Crisco. I will get rid of my, my, my Nestle Coffee Mate creamer. Now, now, I'm not saying that that's all creamers, guys, but listen, if the overarching theme, you must become a label reader. You have to flip it around. I don't care what it says here. You have to flip it around and say, Let, what is in it? And, and not up here on the nutrition label. You can look at some stuff, but go down in the ingredients label and see what it's made of. See, the devil is in the details. Go down here. 
So y'all looking up low and we getting smashed. Uh, you looking up high and you, we, we getting killed down low. Look down low, okay? That's that's really going to tell you what's really going on with this product, all right? Don't fall for the okie though, guys. Avoid hydrogenated vegetable oil at all costs. That's all I have, guys. Hey, this is Rochelle T. Parks. I am your health motivator, and guess what? Whether you like it or not, mm -mm, I do not care. I can, I will, and I must continue to walk alongside you and help you to achieve optimal health. I'm out. Peace.